Hello, so today I'm going to be reviewing a reverse osmosis system by Aquamedic. Um, the main reason that I'm reviewing this is because I think this will be a very interesting experiment. Because this tank is quite young, in a way, it's a little over 7 months old, so it's normal that it should have uh, diatoms. And it has I constantly deal with diatoms, uh, sometimes more, sometimes less, particularly here on the right side of the tank. Today is a particularly bad day. And um, I suspect that it's not, not so much because the tank is young. I suspect that I have a problem with my current osmosis system, which I got also this year. Um, I've tried changing the membrane, I've tried changing the resin, I changed the flow restrictor and nothing seems to bring those TDS down. Uh, the best I can get out of that reverse osmosis system is close to 11. And when I first set up the osmosis it was, uh, I think, uh, close to 30. And then I talked with their support and uh, changing lots of stuff we managed to bring it down to 11. But we all know that 11 is not a good number because we don't know what's in those 11. And so I'm also going to include an ICP test to my tap water. I want to know what's in my tap water to see if the reverse osmosis that I have uh, is adequate or not to the water that it's filtering. And um, I'm hoping that this new reverse osmosis system from Aquamedic which is a reverse osmosis, osmosis system specifically designed to work uh, to produce water for uh, aquariums and is uh, far more professional than the one that I currently have will do the trick. So, my goal is not only to review the system but see especially the effect it will have on this tank um, especially concerning um, the diatom because diatoms are most of the times the product of the presence of silicates in the tank and it's very common to have silicates, silicates at the beginning in the first months of the tank but I think the tank should have passed that stage and so I'm curious to see what the ICP test will say and so without further ado let's start the review by unboxing the Aquamedic os osmosis system so let's start the unboxing this is the cartridge with the RO resin and let's open the box well it seems that this comes already assembled here are the instructions in German, English, French and Spanish and more cardboard I think it's easier to take out horizontally And here it is, let me see if there is anything more inside, I don't think so. And no, there are some more things inside. The connectors for the water intake and the keys to turn this on and off. Not turn it up, but... Uh, to screw and then screw. This is the reverse osmosis membrane. And this is some um, hard line tube. Not hard line, but there it's in the box now is empty. So, let's see, the tube, 
the membrane to to turn and then turn the cups here is the whole thing and that's it so this comes uh, it seems com almost completely assembled the only piece I see here to assemble is inside the tubes is the the membrane and there's the what's called the diaphragm pump and it says the maximum inlet pressure 4.1 bar 60 psi and the maximum outlet pressure 8.6 bar 125 psi here is the cable for the power supply of the pump and I can see here we have the power supply itself here it is with different adapters for, for different regions of the world so we have European plugs uh, English uh, US and some others I'm not sure if this is South America or not and I think that's it so there's very little to do because everything comes already inside and that didn't happen with my previous osmosis it came completely uh, separated and that to assemble everything so let's see what we have here so the water inlet is here the pure water outlet is here on the other side the flush valve is here and then of course this is where we open this container to put the membrane inside and here of course goes the membrane here we have the pre-filter housing for fine filter which I think is of 5 microns here is the pre-filter housing for activated carbon filter which I think also combines um, carbon with another fine filter and last we have the pre-filter I'm sorry the demineralization filter it's this one where we put the resin here we have the high pressure pump and then we have the control unit right here and we should place the power supply right behind it I have the power supply here we have magnetic valves which I think are here yes I think are these two blue ones um, and then we have a low pressure button low pressure button which is here and the wastewater outlet which should be here and um, a magnetic valve magnetic valve that should be here this should be the magnetic valve and the high pressure button which should be here on this side and uh, the pressure gauge here of course um, the mounting bra bracket and we have a TDS sensor I think here here inside we see a cable here an electrical cable it's the sensor for TDS well uh, I can see already that this is a completely different um, system than uh, what uh, I currently have and um, let's put it to work so I'm opening the this cap to put the membrane inside There's an O-ring here This 
that's it. It went right inside with no difficulty, so we can, we have the O-ring in place. Okay, it's tight. So this is the inlet. Goes into the inlet. So we remove this blue ring over here. We push the white ring in this comes out and now we can push the tube inside place the blue ring back and we test yeah it's tight and then we need to connect the tube here, same procedure, remove the blue ring, get this tube inside, it's tight, so it's tight. And I think this ring goes here inside, but let's leave it there. This we don't need for now, we need this. It's inside, so This is the power supply for the pump and it connects here. And that's it. I think it's ready to go. Um, I'm going to finish reading the instructions to make sure that uh, I'm doing everything correctly and then uh, we're going to test it. Okay, so a few months have passed and I've been using the Aquamedic unit now for, I think maybe four months, yes. And um, I'm very happy with it because it solved the problems that I had, that were caused by the units I had been using. So a bit of history, my first unit was this one by Akili, and I must say it performed very well because the tap water I got here got between 240 to 160 TDS, and this unit always pushed out uh, close to 5 or 6. So uh, it was not perfect. But uh, I must say that I never replaced anything in this unit and I kept it going for, I think, three years. And then I had a problem because um, it, um, it, it was stored in very high temperature. And uh, from that moment on, uh, it was ruined. Um, then I got this one. I thought maybe, well, five, six wasn't a very good number to even but uh, I got this one and things got worse because with this one the best I got after lots of changing stuff was close to 11 TDS when it first arrived uh, no matter what I could do flush it, change the membrane, change the resin try different flow restrictors well I tried all this that was suggested by the support and the best I could get it down was from the 30s to 11 or 12 so um, this was not a, a solution at all I never knew what's wrong with this but it never worked as it should um, so now the 
Yeah, com medic. Um, my tank now finally I got rid of the diatoms, and they say that nothing good happens in a reef tank uh, quickly, and it took some time for the diatoms to disappear. And I, I suspect that the problem was that I was having silicates entering constantly the tanks through the RO water, and the aquamedic unit solved that. The thing. Two things I'm most happy about about the Aquamedic is the fact that I don't have to care about the pressure because um, it has an inbuilt pump and the pump makes sure that the unit gets the appropriate pressure to work and it also reduces a great amount of wastewater. Um, another great thing is that the inbuilt computer automatically um, kind of backwashes the membrane um, from time to time and that allows to increase the longevity of the membrane. So I think I'm pretty sure that um, that membrane will most likely last the lifetime of my reef tank. Uh, because membranes, if they're properly cared for, they last a long time. And if you go a step further and do this kind of backwashing um, or flushing of the membrane, it lasts even longer. Um, I plan to change the other media early, the filters, the carbon, and another great thing about the unit is that that DDS meter it has there, the main function is to tell you when it's time to replace the resin. So instead of any kind of guessing or seeing colors, when you see the TDS start creeping up, at that point, it means it's time to change the, the resin. And of course, I have already uh, one resin cartridge over here, which is the thing I expect to change uh, the earliest. So, um, the main thing that I'm happy about is that I finally have white sand. Sand is for me um, the one of, well, for me, it's my favorite part of the decoration of a, a reef tank. I can't imagine a reef tank without sand. I've seen that it's a big trend nowadays to have bare bottom tanks, especially for SPS, because you need lots of flow. But um, I can get rid of all the rock and have the rock all in the sump, but uh, sand for me is crucial. I could have a tank just with sand and I would be happy with corals and fish and no rock. I couldn't be happy with rock and fish and corals, but no sand. It seems like I'm looking at the, the inside of a refrigerator. It's very sterile looking, I think, without, uh, without sand. And having a dirty sand bed uh, is something that prevents me from enjoying the tank. And um, it has a huge impact in the way I appreciate uh, the time that I look at the tank. And so now that the diatoms have finally disappeared, and I think it's uh, thanks to the proper RO water, um, yeah, I'm much happier looking at the tank. So, um, I think this finishes my review of the unit. I couldn't be happier. Um, it's automated, it automatically uh, uh, flushes the, the membrane. You know when to change the resin just by looking at the, the TDS computer in front. Uh, and best thing of all, it really sends out zero TDS and I have a considerably ITDS from the tap. So, thanks again for watching, see you next time.